We must cherish the family and accord it the value, the respect, and indeed the sanctity it deserves. Our search for national rebirth, our efforts at fighting corruption and indiscipline, and our struggle for, at, for at, attitudinal change must all begin from the family unit. While we appreciate the significant role of the mass media and other public enlightenment channels and outfits in propagating and promoting positive values, we just have to acknowledge the fact that all these build, after all, often the foundations that must have been laid down at home. This is what underscores the significance of this particular flag of conference and the marriage education and counseling project in its entirety. That outcomes from this important conference will make far-reaching recommendations, especially in the areas of mar marital relationship responsibilities, frequent divorce and care for children to avoid having future vulnerable children, especially the Almagiris who are being indoctrinated into different sects that are now threatening the security and stability of our society and the nation at large. Begging on the streets, and you have not held his father responsible, Wallahi Allah will answer you. Because Allah says, Wali Allahu man yasurhu wa rusulahu bil gayb. Allah is going to mark out those who help him and help his messengers without seeing him. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kafa bin Barki Ithman, I'm the Yamayahud. It is enough of a sin, enough of a sin for a man to abandon those who he is responsible for their maintenance. Where do we get it that it's you are allowed to have a child and abandon him to beg? Where? Where do we find that you are allowed to marry wife number one, wife number two, wife number three, wife number four, and leave them hungry? Who gave you that right? The verse, the verse that said you can marry four wives if you want, and if you can do justice. At the end it says, Dalika Adna and Lachaolu. That phrase was interpreted by Imam Shafi'i and by Zayn bin Aslam to mean that is closer that you do not have too large a family. The Prophet asked us to pray, to seek refuge with Allah against jihad al bala severity of trials. The Caliph, uh, don't be a mosquito here. <laughs> Talking seriously, there is a problem in our country and we should face it. Enough of us talking and talking and talking. We should all join hands to walk the talk. I want to appreciate what future assured being led by our dear mother, the first lady of this country doing and trying to put together. The problem of our marginal shot of recommendations or resolutions passed at various conferences, at various places, at various forums. But what we lack definitely is implementation. We hardly implement what we agreed to do. Mr. President and the Commander-in-Chief, as a retired general, and I know you're not tired, I think we should give marching orders to the governors of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to implement decisions which at this conference and other conferences. If not, you have that big stick to will on any of the governors who refuse to do A, B, C, D as you instruct him to do. And as the commander in chief. <laughs> Rehearsing the list.
Today, we pray that Almighty Allah so that we will reach very important for ranking us in this country. We pray that Almighty Allah